That is, this is mainly a message to apostles and apostolic churches and those that even flow in the prophetic. And the Spirit of God spoke to my heart and said he's going to marry the apostolic and the prophetic. Yes. And he's going to merge the two camps. Yes, Lord. And what he's going to do, he's going to take the prophetic from being so general and limited to just personal prophecy. Come on. And bring him to the place through the help of apostolic ministry. Yes. To help building the one thing Jesus said he would build, which is the church. My God. And we find an example of this in the book of Ezra, in chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. It says, And the prophets Haggai and Zechariah, the son of Idu, the prophets prophesied to the Jews who were in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of the Lord God of Israel, who was over them. So Zerubbabel sent the son of Shetil and, and Jeshua, the son of Josedek and rose up and began to build the house of God, yes. which is in Jerusalem. And the prophets of God were with them, helping them. Yes. What were the prophets doing? Helping them. Helping. Come on. Amen. Amen. Ah. And then listen to verse 14. So the elders of the Jews built and <laughs> prospered through the prophesying of Haggai, the prophet, and Zechariah, the son of Idu, and they built and finished it. <laughs> Amen. Jeez. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. And what God is going to do, He's going to take the prophetic from operating in such a low level. Amen. Yes. And, and I'm not yes. saying it doesn't have its importance. Amen. But there is ankle deep, yes. knee deep, yeah. waist yeah. deep, yeah. and waters to swim in. And the prophetic has been limited mainly by the body of Christ. Yes, it has. To only bring in personal prophecy. Yep. Me, my need, my want. Yes. And God, has limited God. the prophetic, amen, to just ministering in ankle deep waters. Come on. But the Spirit of God is going to pour out His Spirit. He's going to rain yes, he He's going to raise the depths. Hallelujah. Where the prophetic ministry is going to shift. Not that it's not still going to touch the hearts and needs of people. But the shift is going to be, amen, that the focus is going to be on building the church and fulfilling the corporate vision that yes. God has given each local church. Jesus. And it's going to take the apostle and the prophet merged together, amen, to bring this mm. thing to pass. Yes, it is. Amen. So God's going to send wow. prophets into our midst. Yes. yes. Amen. Yes. But he's, but yes. he's going to send them Help. to apostolic covering. Yes. Wow. Apostles and prophets are the two governmental gifts. My yes. God. And the apostle is going to draw out and groom My amen, God. them to go into another level. Amen. Where they are literally building the church. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. And many prophets have allowed the spirit, amen, of, of rebellion, amen, to come into their hearts. But they're building okay. their own kingdom. Come in, prophesy, blow out. And literally not help the pastor build the church. Amen. But the spirit of God is going to touch their hearts. There have been many apostles, amen, who have made God's people, amen, their servants instead of the servants come on, of God. Come on. And the Spirit is going to break that yoke. Hallelujah. Yes. And the apostles are going to get a revelation Hallelujah. that their calling is to help people become who God has called them to yes, be. Yes, yes. To do what God has called yes. them to do. Amen, and amen. And it's going to lead back to them all doing the same thing. Amen. amen. Building it. <laughs> yes. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God a good <laughs>